All right, folks, we're back at it. So, what is the plan? Well, as I said last time, I want to try to square up the bed size. I worked on this one a bit, so you can see the little bit of a wow is gone. What we did was, um, or I did, whatever. <laughs> we uh, busted all the welds, and we just kind of pushed and prod till everything kind of looked a little bit, looked straighter. So it looks good, even though it's kind of a tunnel cover and you'll never see it, but that one's on. Over here, you can see we got a little, a little schloosh there. So we're just going to play with it a little bit. We're going to bust some welds, push things, try to get it to line up a little straighter. At least that's the goal. When we, uh, yeah. when we throw the bar in, we're just going to try to get everything a little, a little more squared. kind of see we have a little bit of a little bit of a gapage in here and stuff like that so I'm not too concerned about that because this panel once we get the fender bolted on it's gonna pull a lot of this nice and straight we just want to get this edge a little more crisp and straight at least that's I want that's what I want anyways um, after that I think what we're gonna do is pull some panels off I want to pull these off that one I think I want to set up that I can bolt in and out. This one I don't care about. This can be a permanent, like welded in. Same with that part. Uh, but the front part, because I'm probably going to hide my compressors underneath there, maybe my air tank, depending on its size, uh, will probably go over there. Um, otherwise, maybe it'll go into the back here. I don't know. But the uh, plan is to pull that out. We're going to make that, that bolts in. Uh, again, I want to get the fuel tank to bolt in and then modify it so we can actually put this filler and then we'll modify the floor here for where I don't know that I'm going to use this particular one <laughs> but the idea is we're going to have our our license plate there and then we can flip and I don't have to like lift the cover up to put fuel in the truck so that would be nice we picked up some parts today I don't know if you actually seen this thing, but there's actually Ryder's quad up there. We kind of he had some a miss a fortunates. For some reason, she stopped running, and uh, well, it looks there's a few things. It looks like it did something with a valve. A valve burnt or something happened, and then the trunk kind of smashed around in there. Not sure why said thing happened, but anyways. Not sure why said thing happened, but not sure why it's a very common to be able to buy some valves and lifter and things like that. So that almost tells me that this is a common problem with these uh, Yamaha Warriors. Anywho, we're going to uh, waiting for Ryder to come out. I, uh, I think the piston's like usable, but well, I got another one anyways. Well, it came as a kit. So we got another piston and a valve, some springs. Some new rocker arms because I noticed his somebody had been playing around inside of there so we're gonna swap all that back out starter gear was bad too so we're gonna take this off re goop the the cover and the starter gears kind of got that one-way cog in there that's kind of acting up so we're gonna switch all of that stuff out and then uh, I guess you can go slam it all back together should be okay we'll have to clean up the head but that's not the end of the world here should be pretty straightforward. We'll clean up the nibs and things in there, but hey, it could have been a lot worse. Let's put it that way. All right. Well, when the boy shows up there, we'll uh, <laughs> tear into his motor a little bit more and uh, start putting her back together.
Well, I had enough steel that I could recreate this top. It was like dipping into the lip a little too much. So anyways, I don't know, it looks much, looks much, much straighter now. And this side too. I don't know, I'm happy with it. They're good to go. Um, I guess we'll switch out the wire here. I got too thick a wire in there, 3.5. I'm gonna bump it down to 2.3. This is galvanized, so this is crap to, to weld. So you don't, uh, you don't sit and inhale any of them fumes there. It's not good for you. Um, I'll have to go grab a mask, but I'm just gonna stitch it up a little bit better so it's just, everything's a little stronger before uh, uh, I go any further. I just wanna get everything half welded, half stitched. On the clean stuff, I might just pull out the TIG just to, uh, well, basically just get some more practice. The more practice, the better, other than my one bobo. Got a little bit of a, little bit of a gap there. We're good at filling those though. All right, I'm gonna do one little sliver in that corner as well. Okay, let's zap it together here and, uh, well, let's zap it better and then we're good to go. I did get my air compressors. We have those over here. Uh, and we got our tank. It's a smaller tank, which is, I it's, I don't know what it is. It's probably a three gallon. We don't need all the fittings because we're running that other little manifold that I have, but uh, I don't know. This thing looks like she'll fit pretty slick under one of the sides there. Probably maybe we can fit everything under the floorboards uh, in the front. We'll see when we get a little closer there. But maybe I can double stack the air compressors on one side and maybe this thing will fit. Oh, no, no, it won't. <laughs> it's a little bigger than I thought. Hmm. Might tuck into the back though. Oh, well. We'll play and we'll figure it out here shortly. Well, I did say I was gonna TIG weld this, but I kind of just granted on this welder here, this HTP that I just went with the automatic settings and just went for it. I kind of got it dialed in on that side, but this side is just working perfect. Other than on the galvanized, so I'm not, uh, I should be masked up for that, but the shop is pretty big and uh, I wasn't having my head right over top of this while I was welding it, but 
That's pretty good. I'm happy with that. We still got a ton more to do yet. I'm just taking a little break. Riders out. We're kind of tearing apart his motor. Actually, we're putting it back together is what we're doing. <laughs> Anyways, I'm uh, taking a little break and I'm going to get back to finish it up welding up the front panels and stuff. And then I'm going to lift these panels off and look at that fuel tank and stuff. Well, I didn't want to deprive you from the joys of about an hour and a half of welding here, but <laughs> you must have been able to experience about five minutes of it. Four minutes, we still have lots of welding, don't get me wrong, but the initial structure now at least is pretty strong. Uh, we should drill a few holes for our mounts over there. We don't have anything here, so we're still going to have to make some some quick box mounts, some quick fab mounts. We're just going to like countersink them into these things. That's my plan. And we'll probably make a tamang off of there. We'll do one in the back there. We got the four in the front. That should be plenty to hold the box in. Um, I'm going to dig around, see if I have any pre-made mounts. Otherwise we will just go straight to the plasma cutter and zip some up.
Well, I definitely didn't plan that one out right. I was using every square inch of that plate. <laughs> uh, maybe I don't need those. We'll find out. I can probably recut them on the bandsaw because we have that option. We do have all of our other ones. Then we just gotta go bend these up and start mounting them on the truck. So we've built some mounts and some tabs after the fact, some of them screwed up, but uh, we just have a couple carriage bolts because those are going to be under the metal. The other ones I can just put a regular nut and bolt on. That's the other four on the outside. So we can pretty much get the ball going here with uh, the fuel tank I think is next. Um, it hasn't been fueled in this thing in forever. It looks clean inside so that's good. We're probably just going to weld this one shut and uh, we're gonna saw a new hole in there we'll go lift this up and we'll put the tank underneath there and then we'll try to figure out how we want to do the filler to the back
Well, we fit the tank. I know I was going to have it ahead a bit. I was going to try to mount the air compressor back or the air tank back here, but I'm not 100% sure I dig it. It's kind of got an ugliness showing up down there. I don't know if that's something I want to I want to see. <laughs> it's going to be a a bulbless, a bulb whatever you want to call, a big eyesore. I can maybe bring it up a little more. I might try that just to see if it's if you see a little bit of it, it doesn't bother me. That's kind of a lot. I wonder if I bring it right up to the floor, but I don't think I can now that I look at this cuz well, Maybe. Well, no, because I have built this up to these were going to be my front straps are going to come down. So, yeah, I guess the air compressed, the air tank is not working out there. Anyways, even at the angle I had this thing, because I did want the tank ahead a little more. It doesn't look like I need any, any, like, bendy bend. It's pretty much just a straight shot up to this angle is all I'm going to go for. So that makes that so much easier. Now, just if I can find where I had the filler that we cut off of the other fuel tank, I could maybe just use that. I'll keep hunting around and see if I can find that, and then uh, basically we'll cut a hole in that tank and uh, see if we can make a couple straps super quick and to suspend and hold the tank. Then we'll have to get some rubber straps and all that other stuff, but yeah, once I find all my stuff, we'll get her going here. <laughs> that fell in there. <laughs> Thank you. 
Great. That was a lot of work. After screwing up a couple times. Essentially what I did, I only have like, I think this is 20 gauge. It's not as thick as I normally have. So anyways, I, I, I bent it and then I folded it just to make it stronger. Uh, my idea is I'm just going to make tank straps out of this. So now we'll drill a hole on the one side, kind of, well actually up in the front, we're going to drill a hole, we can bolt it there and then we can pull it under and then we'll have another bolt here to like 90 this thing and then just cinch it up and hold the tank in place. We'll have to put some rubber and stuff, but for now I just want to be able to hold the tank properly in there or at least have my semi proper way. All right. Um, I guess we'll just lift it up and then we'll, I might just tack the front for now. Nah, we'll drill. We'll do it right. Let's get her done. <laughs> Well, that was a little more of a fight than I wanted. <laughs> I got it a little extra tight, but uh, ah, they'll stretch out and stuff yet. We don't have any insulators in there and my tank's not perfectly square yet, but it's just pretty, pretty tight in there. Uh, I guess the next step here is gonna be notching out our floor, wherever it is, right there. So our filler can get into there. I think in the big picture, when you drop the tank, you'll be able to snake it through the hole. That's my thought, but it's going to be kind of an oval hole because it's, uh, this thing's almost right up to this edge. So we'll have to do some sneaky, just sneaking up on it. And then I don't even know, we might have to drop the tank to get it into there, but, or maybe we can just bow it. I don't know. We'll get it down. We'll put the floor on and then uh, I'll roughly get where the hole's gonna be. Maybe we'll punch that hole and then we can maybe put the fuel tank in and just kind of violently kind of give her a little, a kink to where it needs to be.
Well, I think we got her. We still might French the license plate or do something yet, but for now, that's the overall look. We kind of go, we can fill our fuel. <laughs> the fuel tank ended up being a little off. So if you're OCD, you're not gonna like that. <laughs> when it's closed, nobody's the wiser. Uh, ideally, I'd like to have uh, like this so I don't get, well, it's a box. It's gonna get dirty, but probably have a hood or have some kind of a cap in here for this yet, but. And I gotta find an actual working one of these things that hasn't gone through a fire. But either way, that is there for now. So basically we got our fuel tank is mounted. Um, we made a nice little, little cover. We'll have to finish that up nicely later at some point. And then uh, we have like just lots of finished welding to do like around this thing. I kind of bolted this down. I might just bolt all the sections down and not weld the floor down. I don't know. That, that could change. We don't know yet, but overall, I feel like we got some pretty good progress done on there. Uh, man, what else we got? I think that's about where we're gonna leave this one. We did the, uh, we did the braces, the box in, we've welded a lot of the box up. We still gotta do a lot more welding. There's tons of things like around here, these edges. I didn't actually get to these pillars in the front. So I gotta do that, but I basically gotta pull the box off and then we can buzz up a whole lot of other stuff. Um, underneath I trimmed and traced a few bits cause um, well, basically when the box comes off, we'll have to trim around the, the, the arch of the frame just so we can't snag a tire or do anything weird like that. Uh, and then we'll get the bed sides on and we have to do that work back here. We had to have to break a weld and then kind of get the bed sides to flow in a little better there. <clears throat> Anyways, folks. As always, I want to thank you all for watching and we will catch you on the next one when we do a little bit of some more maybe box stuff. I'm pretty sure we should have the box almost buttoned up in the next round, the most of it anyways. <laughs> Later folks.